you know, the first thing is, is making sure you're taking care of you because yeah. kids feed off of your anxiety. Oh, so sure. if we are super anxious and we're really wound up, our kids are going to feel that and be really worried and concerned. So being able to just keep a routine, keep life like it is, you know, eating dinner, doing the things you normally do, but letting them know like a storm is coming and so mom's getting prepared so that we can make sure we're safe. So what do adults need to do when they're dealing with this situation? First of all, a storm is coming. What should an adult in their minds do prepare? Yeah, so when a storm is coming, like we certainly should take the actions we need to take to prepare and to make ourselves feel as less anxious as possible if we've got a hurricane kit or whatever it may be and, and routes out if you live in certain areas that may have to evacuate but you know the reality is is that it's all about us kind of being in the moment and not getting so fixated on what happened last time and what's going to happen in the future and so it's really about just kind of saying yeah storm's coming mm -hmm. it may or may not be what i'm expecting it may or may not be worse but I'll deal with it when it comes and I have the tools to do that. And preparation is always the key. Preparation is right? really important, but not over-preparation, yes. right? So we want to we take the preparation that's re recommended, but then stop at that and say, okay, I'm prepared as much as I can be. Because when you look at storms like Harvey, no matter how prepared people were, we were not prepared enough, and or people who weren't prepared were like, you can't always prepare for the unknown. And also go to her website, of course, peaceofmind.com, that has so many resources on not only just anxiety dealing with storms, but any type of anxiety or situation or mental situation you're trying to deal with, right? Yeah, because what I'll say is the American Red Cross does an excellent job as well. You can go to their website. They host, they are still paying for grants, which allow people to get free treatment right now and be able to be a part of groups to recover if you're still experiencing symptoms from Harvey. As we're approaching hurricane season, if you find your anxiety is heightened and you find that it's disrupting your life, yeah. get the help that you need now. All right. Thank you so much, Liz, as always. We'll see you again next Monday.